Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Tron. You remember where we were? Um, I'm playing this game because I was going to play Doom. <laughs> and uh, it demanded an update, so I am updating it. And it's a 3 gig update, so here we are. Um, we had just killed some baddies that were hanging out around here, so now we are investigating this extremely bright and very curvy area. What's our current task? Rendezvous with Mathria in the trunk. I, I, I've kind of forgotten what we did to get here. <laughs> I remember that we were hunting down some resource hogs and we uh, avoided some tanks, which are, by the way, read only and indestructible. Please, pick it up. There we go. That was so wobbly I couldn't do it. Um, we probably need to. Warning. Pull up this Surge bit. fuses one, two, and three restricted. The light. That's a bit. Um, things have fallen apart quite considerably using a form of physics that was previously unknown to a computer system. We can't accidentally screw things up by going in there, so we will uh, not, uh, thank you for saving me from myself, I suppose. I've already proven my capacity to completely ruin things. <laughs> um, all on my own. Component meltdown imminent. Yes. Nice. Um, oh, yeah, these, these particular chappies here are un unfriendly, to say the least. They want everything that the resource, that is, every resource that the system has to offer is going to be uh, consumed by those absolute losers. What did we put in our thing, by the way? Uh, just remind me how this was going. Again, I was expecting to play Doom. <laughs> I know how much you're all enjoying that series. Um, do we have anything that's gold that we can just whack in? I mean, why not, right? Mm. If you're wondering why I'm focusing all these, it's my, uh... Oh wait, I thought there was a gap and there isn't a gap. Never mind. Um, color blindness has been with me for my entire life. And I might as well get base damping and a permission. Um, and yeah, this, why not? I, I can't tell the difference between a beta and a gold when it's just a circle. So, deal with it. I've been dealing with it since absolutely forever. You're going to have a little bit of sympathy for a handicapped person. I was... Apparently, a long time ago, we stopped using the word handicapped to mean uh, what we now use to say disabled, right? But um, there are... I, I would like to use the word handicapped to refer to myself, but because it was used to refer to disabled people, but not Emergency to refer to disabled people, but in, a, in a, an unsympathetic and derogatory fashion, we can't say it at all anymore, right? Um, but it, then there is no word for people who have um, irritating but manageable mental and physical health issues, like, for example, color blindness. It's a problem in real life. You know, I, apart from the fact that I get relentlessly teased about it and people are so frustrating. Hey, what colors? Oh, you're color blind. What color is this? What color is this? Hey, guess what? I'm not your trick monkey, okay? If you want to know what color something looks, why don't you put on a pair of filtering glasses and look for yourself, you know? In fact, they do exist from a series of... I've not tried them, I don't know if they work at all, let alone well. Um, a series of lensed glasses, colored lensed glasses, this is scary, help me, that are intended to um, correct the colour that enters your eyes for people with various forms of colour blindness so that you can actually see what there is. I don't know if they work at all. I'd be very interested to find out. A cup of tea and an Eccles cake for today's, today's stream, which is not a stream, but there will be a stream later on today, which you will already know because obviously I'm going to release this in the future, but I hope that you joined us and enjoyed it. Dear employees, I'm happy to announce the arrival of Jethro Eugene Bradley. Jethro is in a modest £7 eight ounces with blue eyes and brown hair. That's me! <gasps> December 82, he's a year older than me. I fully expect him to tackle Space Paranoid's level 12 bonus area within a few months. That is, if he's anything like his old godfather, Flynn. Proud parents, and new baby are healthy and currently at home resting. After a very exciting two days, we were in the very best, Kevin Flynn. So, uh, Flynn is our godfather. This makes sense. In the original, um, original Tron film, those two are very close indeed. Uh, it seems like things have happened since then. Sure, I'm wondering how this company's doing now, you know, it's the... 2020, technology and the internet and people's... To prevent component oh meltdown, my God. Um, surge suppression circuits <laughs> must be opened. People's... No, the general public's um, relationship with technology has changed considerably over the years. Um, uh, and 
to the point where many people will be going, well, what on earth is this? <laughs> it makes no sense. How can you have a um, how can you have a computer system like this? Mind you, everybody accepted Tron Legacy. I this is going to take us a few goes, I'm afraid. First of all, I'd like to be there, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is definitely going to take us a few goes. We've got three minutes to figure out all of these things, which are going extraordinarily slowly, like teeth achingly slowly, but clenchingly slowly. It's frustrating. It's not as frustrating as I'm making out to be. I am, of course, playing it up for effect, but at the same time, we have a time limit, people. Let's make a move, huh? Let's get on with it. Hey! Done it. Done it. That hurt. Wasn't supposed to hurt. The time has gone up. I sort of expected that. This is a bit of an arcadey sort of game. There was a checkpoint. Oh, get on that. Ah, There's one down there that we're probably going to have to go down first, I would expect. When I... ah, how did that kill me? Also, <laughs> BRB, because I didn't save it. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I was just musing in my own personal silence just now. How it has come to pass that whenever I have to do something like that and cut out some of the episode, first of all I have to figure out how long it took me. I did use my infinite time, which I'm going to call uh, speed of plot. I, I'm pretty badly off in terms of HP actually, so I should probably not try any of those shenanigans involving uh, falling too far like I did before. Um, I have to try and make it as seamless as possible for the audience. <laughs> And um, this <laughs> this comes at the expense of... Um, so essentially the problem is that I have to remember what I was talking about five minutes ago. <laughs> which was quite a lot of various things. And no... Oh. Uh, actually, I don't think we can get down there from here. Can't get there from here. That was a song that I... Who was that? I really need to Google that. Um, yeah, we were talking about colour blindness and all that sort of thing. Um, we have learned a little bit of lore about you know, our character here. Um, uh, just, yeah, we were musing up on the relationship between general public and technology as it stands in 2020. I didn't press the button, you absolute bellend. Is there any point? <laughs> I don't think there is. I picked up the build point and I was so busy trying to regale you with excuses about how I'm going to forget what we were saying um, that I forgot to do the actual important thing which is advance the plot. Yeah, the, the game goes at the speed of plot which I was saying and basically what that means is that I went back to take advantage of the infinite energy pool that was at the start of the level even though I'd come quite a long way through the level because nothing's going to happen until I enter this room at which point things are going to start happening pretty difficultly. Um, we get a minute. We get one minute to recover from this. <laughs> this uh, foolishness. How dare I be such an imbecile to have forgotten to do the, the actual thing that I'm here for, which is for the surge protectors. Right? So suppression circuits. I wasn't far off, despite the fact that I wasn't paying any attention to what's happening right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's by the word handicap it's not a bad word I think that's the important thing because excuse me where am I going now <laughs> oh that one goes up there I have to go up there and then back down there right this game has confused the heck out of me which is difficult for me to admit but I think I'm gonna die because the power surge is gonna get us instant karma's gonna get him if I don't get him first you know that was an irrelevant thing to say, but it was actually a line from a U2 song. Was it U2? Or was it a cover? It was on the um, Rattle and Hum album, which is a lot of collaborations. It's a lot of lives. It's one of the few albums that is live that I actually don't hate. <laughs> no, that's not a horrible thing to say, but whenever I listen to an album that is live, um, I find myself really wishing that it was just the songs because I find that when you're listening to recorded live music, the, the atmosphere is completely diluted by the fact that it is pre-recorded or rather it's a recorded live set rather than uh, an actual you were there live set which is way more important to 
experience to, to the experience it is an experience being in a being at a concert well <laughs> maybe there's a lot more forgiveness in this section of the level than I expected oh this is hard I don't like this let this bring us down close to this you're gonna okay some of these might be activated by me being there Um, but the the Rattle and Hub album, Rattle and Hum album, is not one of those. I actually really appreciate the uh, the liveitude of it. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want to be down there, please. Actually, let me let me go. Come back. Hey, less of that. Uh, are we going down? No. You're going down. Oh, I need to get on you. I'm worried about this. Where did you go? <laughs> Excuse me, can I have that? There you are. Uh, ah! <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. Alright, we know what we're doing. Um, it's a good, decent album, and of course it has some collaborations with various people whose names I can never remember, even though I look them up. Function Pathway in Jungle to Fun, content dependent. <laughs> yes, that was complete nonsense which I think the average Joe would probably interpret as meaning uh, is platforming fun it is contents dependent for example if you are playing Doom Eternal which I wish I were right now yes it would be fun if you are playing for example Tron Legacy Tron, not even Tron Legacy, this should be called Tron Legacy Tron 2.0 then yes it's very context dependent it certainly depends on how many times you've tried to be fair, this is not as frustrating as it could be, because I do find... Oh, this arrives when you turn the thing on, I understand. Um, the the reason it's been difficult, the reason we died a couple of times, is because I'm trying to figure out the route, not because I keep failing to follow it. I find it's much more frustrating when something is a, a massive skill check in a game, especially when modern games have a um, much better understanding of skill checks. And I appreciate that quite a lot. Doom Eternal is a great example. Oh! oh. Because, um... Oh, hello. Apparently we can just get on this one. We knew that. Um, if you are really struggling with a fight, no matter what difficulty level you have chosen to play on, if you're struggling at a fight, it will give you... Uh, Sentinel armor, which will just basically allow you to... find it easier without... capitulating on any achievements or anything like that. It doesn't penalize you for using it but you do have to try a few times before it will allow you to, to do it and basically it's saying hey we recognize this fight is too hard for you don't feel bad okay you're not a, a wussy little baby just keep it real you know do you do you we will give you this crutch uh oh Power surge dissipated. Uh, and help you out with the whole thing which is really something i greatly appreciate because in a lot of old games like this one for example if you can't do a bit, you can't do the bit. <laughs> but I think in this game, actually, can you, um... You can turn the difficulty down. I'm just going to have a bit of Eccles Pig. Anyway. I do like an Eccles Cake. I ran out of tea, though. <laughs> That's a problem. Where are we going? Taking off into space. Oh, do you see that? I see that. <laughs> Nice. I thought it was a transport, um, sort of some world building in the background, but it wasn't. Let's save it, because we just managed. <laughs> Something that I turned out to be quite difficult, actually. Excuse me. By the way, one thing I was amusing on whilst I was redoing my... Uh... Ooh. It's like, what's that term? By the way, you can do them in any order, it seems. Um, alpha subroutine expensive when I can't afford it beta for even more expensive I don't think I could ever afford beta because my maximum energy is not high enough um, I believe Laura and I have discovered a new logic matrix will produce a 12, 13% 1000% increase in simple numerical computation as well as simulated reasoning we're hoping to complete a prototype over the spring Laura is currently calling the artificial intelligence math assistance 1 
Don't know if the name will stick, only time will tell. So Mithria is presumably Math Assistant 3A. Um, let's take this permission as well, thank you. I'm trying not to die. Um, I wanted to apologize to my previous self <laughs> for completely undervaluing the... Um... Who did we decide this was? We're completely undervaluing the sequencer, which has turned out to be an extremely valuable asset for us. It's a very good weapon indeed. I think we're okay here. I would like to be over there. Probably without dying, so let's <laughs> use our quick save ability. Um, what did I say I was going to do? Because things may have changed since then. We would like to optimize maybe some armor. So we've got room for something. Because this signature isn't that important to me. Power block is not important, but this one, I think I decided was. But it only applies to the primitives. So maybe that's not as important as I think it is. Why did you know? I never put you in there. There we go. My mistake. I'm sure it would have told me what that was at some point during the times that I replayed that little bit where we picked that up, which was ages ago, but I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think we should make some space with what we've already got installed or swap out what was so difficult to decide. I'm not really using anything. I did just use the lol, so we should probably keep that. What if we swapped out primitive charge? We're taking a lot of damage recently, which is what I'm worried about. Um, I'm not using any weapons except for these two. Maybe it's just not my style, but it's not really um, working for me. This is 25% on the next level. This is 12% on the next level. This is 8% on the next level. This is 15% on the next level. So the next level of this is just insanely good. We'll do that, and then we get to add this. Sure. Why not? Save it because you don't want to do all that again, even though now you know what you're doing. You can do it quickly. Is there something over here, do you suppose? You would expect so because, yeah. Thank you. There's a little bit of a platforming puzzle there as well, which is going to be fun. Um, I remember this. No spoilers, but keep your eyes peeled for what's going on next. You see all that stuff down there? Is that where we just were? Oh, it's peripheral seal, was it? Well, I didn't really need that, but it wasn't it cost too much, so I'm going to keep the gold one, obviously. Um, yeah, that's where we started. Okay. So we have been down there. We don't have to worry about trying to climb down whew, to find those extra archive bins. That would be silly. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is take this off. Take this off. I'm going to keep. Because. <clears throat> oh, Echo's Cape Throw. And my jumps aren't so high that I can't control it. I'm probably use Shift as well so that we don't keep falling. Permission 3, yeah. Oh, 1, not F1. Cool. Open this. Open this. So I used to other games, I was pressing all the wrong buttons. I don't really think I finished my thoughts on colour blindness. As you can imagine, it's. <laughs> I apologize for having to postpone the presentation. Laura discovered the rather significant memory leak in Math Assistant 1's new voice recognition. I really eaten an Eccles cake whilst reading an email, which is the sort of unprofessional foolishness that you shouldn't be doing this many years into recording. But he's right there! How can I not eat it? The new. Good news is, Math, math Assistant 1. Audio, or Moana, as we now call it, now recognizes over 64 common verbal commands without crashing the vocoder buffer. That does not not make sense. Moana should provide a useful companion in memory such as notifications. Please inform the board that I do plan on making a 2pm presentation scheduled tomorrow. Was that worth the risk of dying? No. You're quite right, it was not. Put the YAM back on, I like it. I don't know how much benefit I get from this YAM, but I am using it quite prodigiously. Hey, you. Oh, I'm going to say, uh, extend the bridge, sir. 
but here we are, it is extended. Let's quick save. Program, please step away from the archive entrance. I maybe kill you. My friends are in there. Let me through. Sorry, this site has been designated a historical archive. Access is restricted. It's a G-zip. Can you make an exception? It's important. I'm, nearly I'm afraid I'm not. Gonna die soon. Quick, name the seventh even prime number. I I can't figure. Unable to. Hey, legal program termination. Uh, he's not terminating. He's just confused. How did you get in here? Wait, I'm not gonna talk to you until I'm filled up. <laughs> that would be fun. Done this before. Finished a fight, and then I got a cutscene. How dare you? There's number three. What are you doing inside an archive? Can you can you do that? Oh, this this is the restriction. That's the archive. I understand. It's um, it's just a disc. Right. That's the Tron Legacy Code. <gasps> it sure he said is incredulously. Beautiful. Director sound more incredulous. This is a voice Why acting. Why isn't it moving? Isn't it alive? The code is not compiled. Not compiled. Check, the legacy code. The system is becoming increasingly unstable. <laughs> Okay. Grab the Tron Legacy Code. Let me in then. Take your time. System's becoming increasingly unstable, old man. Oh, here we go. A three. Uh, how are you running on this old, old system? I've acquired it. Come with us, Einar. I can't, stranger. There's no place in the future for an old program like me. I'd be swallowed up and derezzed before I could spit out my first routine. This place... There's not much time left. Yes, but it's my home. A place that I know. All huh. right. I know. Thanks for your help, I know. I won't forget you. See that you don't. Let me get out. We can just, like, but find him on going? the disc and run him again. The Stop net. being... Computer! <laughs> the net... I told you about this. By the way, I have a mouthful of Eccles cakes. I did not expect that to be so short. I told you that we get up to the internet tonight. Way back when. This place is enormous. It's enormous. It's made up of thousands of hubs like this. Data and programs of every type imaginable. It doesn't actually say that it's the internet. That's it says why we're it's here. The this is the best place to find a compiler. Could just be the network. Right? Internal company okay. network. I'll find us a way to compile the Tron legacy code. It's, it was, there's got to be a compiler on the computer you were just on. Right, it's a new system with different... Uh, mean reconfigure subject Um, We definitely want the sequencer because we are guilty of completely undervaluing that. We could do with upgrading the log so that we can just stick it in. I don't care about the upgrade to it. I don't care about the size of it. Um, we will have this. We will have this. There's nothing you can do to stop me. We will have... That's decent, especially in gold. That's kind of okay. I think I'm using so little stuff. <laughs> Might as well have the suffusion on and then a bunch of armor. Um, what is this? Uh, only beats it. So I'd rather have the armor than being quiet right now. Um, well, we can fit one more gold subroutine in. Do you have any? Just, um, just no. <laughs> Basically, no. That's a pretty decent loadout, though, huh? All that stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was a uh, an optimizer around here somewhere. But you're an optimizer. You want a subroutine? I got a beta version of the latest viral mesh protection. It's perfect for protecting your code against the corruption. Where did you get it? That's not important. Okay, sounds like a good deal. I'll take it. Here you go. Let me get in. Let me guess it's infected. It's gonna be down there, innit? Viral shield? Viral shield? Wait, what? Oh! It's armor. Um. Not to mess a game too strongly, but that sounds good. <laughs> I've been here before. You don't know what I know. I'm looking for a compiler program on the internet. I don't think I found all of the um, upgrade points in the previous one, all the build points. How pink it is. It's very internet, isn't it? 
scarish as you'd expect. Number three, oh, why are you on the internet? You will get attacked immediately. Also, why is the, this? <laughs> why is the gateway to the internet an actual platform? That's okay. This is how this works. This is just world building. Okay? Don't worry about it. Everything is a glow. It's amazing. When I first ran this, as I told you, I couldn't get this glow. <laughs> also, all of the adverts ever made. Uh, we're very, very, very vulnerable, as you might know, um, what with the um, this being the internet and all that. It's 115 energy to get that. It's 125, which means we're not going to have enough for that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I got it, but I don't tend to use it. And then we just need an energy ball. Uh, it's not full. I've already found three build points, which is I think better than I did last time. Hello. We'll talk to you anon. Because everyone on the internet is anon. <laughs> Coming towards the end of the episode, I am aware, but I did chop some out. Oh my god. The internet's rubbish. Can't even get a full energy transfer without paying for it, no doubt. What is this thing? What is this thing? What are you lot doing? Greetings program. Greetings program. Just bleep blooping inside a big tower thingy. Obviously. Hey, there's a lot of programs that go into the internet, okay? It's not... The net. It's, it's not, like... It's not as simple as you might think. Which is... Comes back to what I was saying about the... The... the um... The relationship we have is... A society with the internet. Especially now, the ability to communicate essentially freely across the internet is, is outrageous. <laughs> How are we this good? Uh, give me my right click that. Um, back in 2003, this was... Even the internet itself was quite exotic in 2003, I think. So... All of this, the the, the pinkness uh, sort of alludes, I suppose, to the exotic nature of the internet as it was in 2003, because not everybody had it. I can't remember when I got it, but my dad would work um, remotely. Oh, oh, it's a virus gun. I'll keep the gold one, thank you. Um, for a company in the States for some period of my life, um, and as a result... Oh, well, I, I, I had access to the internet through that, and, and it wasn't as exotic to me as it was for other people in 2003. Creepy isn't the half of it. When Mr. Bradley upgraded Moana to Matua, which is only about a year ago, many felt the AI exhibit personality traits of his dead wife. Okay, take the voice for example. Some say it's simply a digital recreation of Mrs. Excuse me, Bradley's voice. Others speculated she recorded a vast word library from her deathbed. There's even a rumour that she was partially digitised during the laser accident and Alan, Alan managed to salvage the DNA and integrate it into the AI. What? Real science fiction stuff, if you ask me, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the rumours. Yes, pay no attention to the rumours behind the curtain. Um, save it here. Seems like a good time to end the episode. I am now into this sufficiently that I don't want to play Doom, although I do want to play Doom, but I'm putting off playing Doom because I'm really scared of the fight that I know how to do. But until next time, thank you for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. I love going back to 2003 and showing people what they miss because this is awesome um and do look out for doom and streams and stuff like that follow me on twitter follow me on join the discord down in the description below uh until next time thank you for watching this episode if you did and if you didn't that's all i have to say to you uh until next time i'll see you